Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on here and say I'm fine. Everything's going on well. I'm enjoying my new place. And with the pandemic that's out there in the world, I hope you're all staying indoors and doing what you're supposed to do. And the result of that is that, uh, you know, you get a lot of free time on your hands and then you start to wonder what to do with it. And some issues I was grappling with sort of self-resolved with this pandemic. For instance, my house, uh, you know, what about keeping it, not keeping it? And these questions I was asking, a few things became clear to me. So that kind of allowed me to settle more in into my life now and uh, so I decided to embark on a tiny little project because you know I'm very interested in interior decorating it's been one of my great passions and it's something I, I plan on spending a lot more time doing so I decided to work on a little project in my house and that was just to change my bedroom uh, I just started with one room at a time and uh, I probably will do so progressively with every other room, but for now we'll just start with the bedroom. So I'll walk you through the process because it's now like complete. My walls were an off cream color, which uh, I had kept because like I said, I've been really trying to decide what I want to do, how I want to move forward, because you all know I work out of state, so, but the prevailing circumstances just determine that I'm probably going to be here for a while, if not for always. So this is something I'd wanted to do earlier, and I'd bought some of the supplies that I need, so it came in handy to have them and just to kind of decide, like, now is a good time to start, now is a good time to do it. All right, so this is the paint I just got from um, Home Depot. They told me it's the whitest white. I hope it is. It's a dry first, well, they said about a couple of hours, and it's odorless, so that's good. And these are the painting things, uh, the painting set I bought. As you can see, it's got two rollers. It's got a, um, the roller pin uh, it's, and uh, a smaller roller pin. And then it's got the paintbrush, which is what I'm going to use first to start with cutting the corners, I guess. So, I brought up my paint, I brought up my ladder, and I had a small kit for painting that I also brought out. And then yesterday, about 2 o'clock, I was ready to begin my work. So the first thing I did was cutting the corners that uh, the roller thing doesn't get to. So I did all of that all around the room. That took about two hours. And then I started rolling on the paint, it's primer paint together, and I started rolling it all section after section. It took me about another hour, so all in all I think it took me about three hours to change my room from off-white to white-white. The paint dried instantly and it was also odorless, so by the time I was finishing one section of the room, the other section was already dry. The ladder came in very handy and that was a last minute purchase, I'm quite glad I have it because that means I'll be able to change my bulbs and things like that, so that was a good purchase. At the same time I wanted to move around my furniture, I have a tendency living in very small spaces, I think my whole life it's something I've down my whole adult life it's something I seem to have chosen to do because I remember my first place when I was in Belgium I think I had a five bedroom apartment but I and I lived literally out of my bedroom everything I needed was contained within my bedroom and I just never used the other parts of the house and my son sort of like runs the show and then I remember when we moved and I got a three bedroomed house again the same thing happened I just seemed to concentrate my life into one room I bring in my desktop laptop I've got my bed occasionally I might have a small fridge but generally I just tend to live in small spaces so I could have a huge house but the amount of time I spend in any of the other rooms doesn't even come to 10% in a day. I literally just walk through maybe to get to the kitchen, I walk through to get to the bathroom. But to sit there in any of the other rooms, I rarely do that. I suspect it has to do with the fact that I'm always cold. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure the psychology behind it because I do tend to spend a lot of time in bed because uh, I've got a, a leg warmer or foot warmer or something that just keeps me warm and I've got my laptop so I do a, a majority of my work in bed but then it just made sense to kind of try and expand on my working area so this project began with the goal of sort of bringing in a lot more or alternatives within the bedroom that I can sit at as you know my son lives on campus 
And so he rarely comes home because he also travels a lot. Even when he's off of school, he'll travel to visit uh, my his auntie, my sister, or, or my other auntie, or even grandma. So he's always going somewhere. So he's rarely ever home. So I just find like the house is too large for me. But that's something I always complain about. I think every house I've lived in, I always say it's too big for me. It feels like I'm cut out for studio living. I'm very comfortable in a small space. I feel cozy. I feel... I feel warm, I feel loved. It just makes me feel more, uh, in Dutch we say gezellig. It makes me feel more cozy. It's just seems, it just seems to be a personal preference anyway. Anyway, so after the painting was done, I it was late in the night, so I went to sleep. I could still sleep in the bedroom because it was um, orderless and it was instant dry. I just popped. I just cracked the windows open and that was good enough. Uh, in the morning today I had a chiropractic appointment so I ran there and then I came right back and I started to bring in the furniture that I needed so you can see I brought in the couch. This is a nice tiny love seat that I have. I just love it because it's really compact and it's small enough. Um, and then I also decided to bring in a table. This is a nice table that I bought from Wayfair. I think sometime last year, probably mid last year. It's a garden chair, to be honest, but I haven't really used it outside in the garden. I brought them into the bedroom and that's going to be like my workstation. Because I do wake up early and I do spend some time in Bible study. I've been doing it sitting by my bedside, but now I can actually sit down on the table because I do take a lot of notes too when I'm doing my Bible study. I like to underline and highlight, so the table really comes in handy for that. I've also decided to move in my desktop here, just because, I don't know, because I use my laptop quite a lot. That aside, I brought in the couch. I initially had it on this side and I had this dresser on the other side. That's how I thought I would want it. But uh, when I looked at it later this morning, I actually thought that the dresser came quite high up. So it was blocking almost a quarter of the window versus the, the couch is quite low. It doesn't, it barely blocks anything really. At the same time, I thought I'd love to sit on the couch and be able to look outside. Um, so I just switched everything around again this morning. It's been quite trying, but I've managed, I've managed to do it. And another thing is I have a small bed because it's just me. So I didn't really, again, this came, uh, this came as a trundle bed. I think we call them trundle, trundle, trundle bed with one of the other day beds that I bought in one of the other living rooms. And I didn't really want to invest in a bed yet because my life has been quite, um, there's so many decisions I'm yet to make that I don't want to buy bulky furniture. Everything I'm buying is something you can break down and, and ship or carry or something like that. So the bed I want to buy is quite uh, bulky and I'm just not, I just don't think I'm ready for it yet. So this bed works great for now. It's small, it's compact, but it gets the job done. It's just a trundle bed. So I just raised it, I plonked on a mattress on it, then I made the bed. Uh, what else is there to say? Okay, that board. I bought that from Marshalls. I thought it would come in quite handy to just stick a few notes and things. I work a lot with three by six cards. So I like to make little notes and just tuck them in there and hang them in there. I like that. Oh yeah, and there's this sign by the door, which I really like because it says, do not disturb, dreaming big dreams. That's how you come into the room. It's quite cheeky actually, because yeah, I am dreaming big dreams though, so it's true. And this mirror by the door, I just hang it there. I bought it again from Marshalls. Again, a, a fascination with mirrors, I guess but I just think it really adds, it really elevates the door. You know, the door doesn't have to be bare. Oh, and about the couch, the pillows, these gray pillows, I bought them from one of my many trips to Amsterdam. I love the pillows. I think they're quite decadent and small and compact, and they're also feather filled, which makes them really fluffy and, and comfortable. My carpet, I believe I bought it from Marshalls. Most of my furniture, almost all my furniture is going to be from Marshalls or Wayfair. 
and then occasionally I'll pick up something from IKEA. This is one of the things that comes from IKEA. I've had it for quite a while. Oh, another thing about my curtains, they also come from Marshalls, they're linen. I normally work with natural fibers only. I'm obsessed with natural fibers. I believe everything I have in my house is either 100% pure cotton or linen, though that seems to be the, the thing I gravitate towards. Uh, when it comes to clothing, I've got quite a bit of silk. Um, I just gravitate towards natural fibers because if you remember, I have been quite interested in um, sustainability within the fashion industry, within the fabric and garment making industry. So that spreads, or oh, that spreads to in, include interiors as well. So my house, everything I have, my couch throw, my pillows, uh, the grey pillows that I got from Amsterdam, the spread I bought from uh, Spain on my visit there, it was actually from Zara, Spain, and um, my beddings, uh, my pillows are from Marshalls, my pillow, everything uses natural fibre because that's a choice I've made for myself, it's kind to the environment and it's also kind to my body. For now it's just a room tour. I don't know if I'm going to do all the other rooms, maybe I will. The truth is I don't spend a lot of time at home. I happen to now because of the pandemic that's going on in the world. I don't know how long that will last. To be honest, I prefer to stay home. I feel quite tired with all the traveling. Uh, but as things stand right now, it's, all, it's also quite healing to be able to be gone for uh, a lot of the time. Uh, but if the Lord leads me different, I'll definitely rise up to the occasion because I feel like uh, I'm quite ripe for a few changes in my life. I love the floor that I have because I have warm colours, which I really love. And then I love the carpet, it's just the right size and also the right colour. And then I've got this huge lampshade which I still haven't found a home for it, but it comes in quite handy. I use it so for now I just have it here on the floor. Got a small side table, bought it from Marshalls as well. I like it because it's got an electrical cord so you can plug it in and then you just plug things around it. I'm not using it that way for now, but I like that it can slide into the bed if you need to, or you can skew it over to the couch in case you know you're having a drink or a snack. So it's quite handy and it's small and light and very easy to manipulate and move around. I like that about it. I have nightstands which I just didn't bring into the bedroom because they're quite bulky and uh, I have no need for them. I'm a minimalist, I have very few things. I purge all the time, I purge everything. I love to live with just what I need. This is uh, how I live my life and it's quite peaceful, it's nice. So I'll give you a small room tour just to see this is a finished product, this is how it looks. Now I have the couch by the window, I've got the dresser back where it was by the door. Here I've got a, wall, a, a closet for my clothes. Uh, I've got windows on two walls, so that's good. It creates a nice breeze should I need one, but it also brings in lots of lighting. Uh, it allows me to do videos like this during the day without any kind of lighting. I do have the ring light, but I didn't even have to use it because I've got a, a window here and I've got two windows over there, so that's good. Okay, so join me. So I hope you enjoy the room tour and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye bye.